So Swamp Rose, again with its pink blossoms, um, is quite carefree. And then, as I already mentioned, can take some really um, flooded condition, thus the name Palustris, Rosa Palustris, uh, Palustris being swamp loving. Um, this one has a little bit of a black spot, it looks like, but nothing that's going to really hurt the, the plant itself. And again, hopefully these, these will get pollinated. It's got several other blooms, buds just about to come out. And then it makes for a beautiful, beautiful, again, wetland um, and provides a ton of cover. This is one of my favorite places for finding things like rough green snakes and ribbon snakes. Ribbon snakes because they feed off the frogs that also hide in here. So again, swamp rose, a wonderful, wonderful native uh, rose and one that um, I think can take some very flood conditions and so has some applications in, in the yard and rain gardens and things like that, but which I think is underutilized uh, qu uh, quite a bit because a lot of people aren't even familiar with it. Swamp Rose, Rosa Palestris.